HTC hopes to do a follow-up on the One A9 with a new addition that has a metamorphic design and some average specifications that are going to be optimized for the overall experience. It's Joshua Vergar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is our first look at the HTC One X9. Design has actually changed quite a bit from the A9 to the X9. Now, while the people did think that the HTC One A9 was a bit of a, let's say, ripoff of the iPhone, the X9 is actually trying to move a little bit forward from that design aspect. Uh, and now we have the metamorphic design, which basically means that there are smooth edges in the metal design all around. And as HTC says, it is supposed to be showing us and giving us a feel of the nature that is around us. Um, but still, when you're holding the phone in the hand, it is actually quite nice to feel, even with this 5.5 inch screen making it a little bit larger than the conventional than the conventional phone and a little bit tougher to handle in one hand going from side to side and from top to bottom but speaking of top to bottom the boom sound speakers actually return in the x9 and they are as close to the edge on the top and bottom as possible and they provide some good sound as we were able to test it just a little bit in the noisy room that we were in but we do like the design of these speakers and we are enjoying so far how they look on the top and the bottom now if you look on the bottom there we actually have a return of the capacitive keys as well as the X9 is going to use, as they said, hardware keys in order to navigate this version of Android Marshmallow. A small flap on the side actually a small flap on the side means that you have expandable storage available with a micro SD card slot that is easily accessible. Now taking a look at the display, it is a 5.5 inch super LCD capacitive touchscreen that comes in at full HD 1080p resolution. It does provide the kind of colors that we've expected from HTC's panels and at 5.5 inches it should be more than enough canvas to have some fun. Getting underneath the surface, the One X9 is powered by 3GB of RAM and comes with a MediaTek Helio X10 processor. Now this is not necessarily got the ring of the Snapdragon to it, but that's perfectly fine because this more affordable mid-range, affordable somewhat flagship device is going to give the kind of performance that should be just right for Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And as HTC has shown in the past already, especially with the A9, they are looking to streamline the experience of their Sense UI overall. We already mentioned the two main hardware features of the X9, including the two front-facing speakers that are powered by Dolby Audio and the expandable storage. Uh, that said, we can move into the camera, which is a 13 megapixel shooter that is very similar to the one from the A9, but HTC did say that it is improved from the A9's performance and also continues what the A9 started in better camera optics for the one line by HTC. Taking a look at the camera app, it is still the same interface that we've seen before from HTC, which is pretty easy to navigate by swiping on the viewfinder to get to the different modes. And it is still a pretty simple shooter until you get to the pro mode or the, or the manual mode rather, uh, in order to change the settings in a more finite way. And finally, in the software, we still have the Sense UI, the version that came in the One A9, and it could be quite familiar, uh, but we do like what we see in Sense in terms of it sort of streamlining its overall design. It still has the blink feed over on the side, which is still nice to use in order to get some quick headlines. Uh, and from there, you still have the app drawer and everything that you would expect from a Sense-powered Android UI. So. The One X9 was originally announced uh, at the end of last year and has been available in an Asian market, but here at MWC they are announcing its availability here in Europe. But we were not able to get any full concrete details on the pricing of the One X9, and you can stay tuned to Android Authority for that information as it comes along. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for the One X9 and even more from HTC here at MWC 2016.